Kenya only has three northern white rhinos left. The rest were plundered by poachers. Numerous projects aimed at saving the country's rhinos proved unsuccessful. Sudan and his two female family members were relocated to Kenya from a zoo in Czechoslovakia. Intense efforts are underway to ensure their future survival. Where they were living in the Czech Republic was not good climate. They were living in a concrete place with lots of snow. But now they are really enjoying natural habitat. Specialist in assisted reproduction techniques or IRTs, and we've had several successes with buffalo and blue villabias and various wildlife species. And therefore, they've asked me to be involved um, with the northern white rhino, of which there's only three left in the world, to utilize these assisted reproductive techniques like artificial insemination, in vitro fertilization and embryo transfer to multiply the genetics of this last three northern white rhinos. The amount of progress that we've made in the last 18 months is phenomenal. We are on the brink of getting success, getting our first embryos produced um, from southern white rhino. So sad as it might be, we're, trying, we're waiting actually till it's too late. If we don't do something about the northern white rhino, uh, what's next? The southern white rhino, the black rhino, Sumatra and Javan rhino, but then every, every other species. Um, and that will also just show how much we care as human beings for nature, for conservation, for prosperity, to, to save a species. Diesel and Rhino Connect are excited to take hands with Rhino Repro in this IVF project to save the northern white rhino from extinction. This proudly South African project is set to break new grounds. My name is Andres, a director of Rhino Connect and also an ambassador for this project in Kenya. Tasha, Andres, Saya and Vian are all experts in their own right and they are pooling efforts to ensure rhino yeah, conservation on many levels. Throughout their journey, they joined by a number of volunteers. Follow the journey of this five-member team to Kenya in July and support their efforts.